Hey, uh, this is Leo at lead time. Uh, so now is the summer, uh, my favorite season. Uh, I can go out to uh, swim, uh, go to hiking, and uh, enjoy the outdoor activities. Um, but meantime, there's a problem, uh, mosquito. Um, so how to repel the mosquito, and uh, there's an itchy, and I relieve the itchy after the mosquito bite. Uh, so today I'm going to introduce you uh, three uh, the top natural uh, botanical mosquito repellent and, and also it can work as a itchy relief. Um, so yes, uh, you, I bet you heard about the uh, DEET, D-E-E-T. So that is a, a manufactured most popular mosquito repellent. Uh, if you go to the market, you will see a lot of chemicals, a lot of products they have a uh, DEET. And DEET are also uh, certified by CDC uh, for the uh, mosquito repellent uh, efficacy. Um, but uh, the also, there are also some problems uh, with uh, DEET. Uh, first, when you uh, um, go to market, you need to find the, the DEET concentration uh, falling 10% to 30%, uh, which is recognized as a be uh, safe. Uh, but even though, you know, they don't recommend you to use on infants, which less than two months uh, old, and also the manufacturer recommend you do not use on their clothes, and you better wash it off uh, when you go back indoor or go to the place you, you don't want to, you, you don't have a concern about mosquito. Uh, so that's why I prefer, you know, the uh, natural, uh, the botanical product. Um, so the first one I want to introduce you is uh, eucalyptus. So this is a eucalyptus uh, hydrosol. I made uh, uh, by using the uh, steam distillation. Uh, so eucalyptus, uh, it has a long history being used in China uh, as a mosquito repellent, um, even just the hydrosol itself. Um, and the modern uh, research uh, uh, showed like uh, the reason behind the, the efficacy because it contained the special chemical called uh, uh, PMD. So PMD is uh, uh, one of the two other nature chemical has been certified by CDC as a mosquito repellent. So because of that, uh, the, the unique, uh, the chemical, it has a, a very good effect on the repelling the mosquito and even the itchy uh, relief. So the second one I want to introduce you is a lemongrass. Uh, lemongrass has a chemical called uh, geranol. Uh, the one of the research article uh, compared uh, geranol with uh, DEET. Um, it shows a very good efficacy, uh, including indoor and outdoor uh, for the repelling the mosquito. Um, so. That's why you know you, you may consider to use like a lemongrass oil or even the hydrosol uh, before you go out. Uh, the third one is uh, lavender. Uh, lavender is uh, called uh, all the best, uh, the essential oil or hydrosol, uh, because it contains a lot of chemicals, including one of it is uh, linalu. So, in the last video, uh, I introduced the two major chemicals in the lavender, hydrosol and essential oil. Uh, linalool also been studied uh, as and also been used in many like a mosquito or pest repellent product. Um, and it, it, in the same study uh, done with the geranol, they show like a very good uh, efficiency to repel mosquito indoor and outdoor. Uh, yeah, so these are the three uh, top uh, botanic uh, product. You can do by yourself, or you can buy the the product uh, uh, you know in the from the market. Uh, so the first one is eucalyptus. Also, someone call it like a lemon eucalyptus. 
um, the essential oil and a hydrosol. Uh, the second one is a lemongrass and the third one is a lavender. So I'm going to put a textbook uh, recipe uh, in the, at the bottom so you can open that and see, you know, to make uh, your own the mixture, uh, your all natural uh, mosquito repellent. Uh, yes, so uh, enjoy your summer, enjoy your outdoor activity, and uh, don't forget your mosquito repellent. Please uh, like the video if you like it, uh, subscribe my channel, uh, and see you next time.